thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today, I'm going to be doing our Christmas haul with you guys. I wanted to share this with you because when I show you our Christmas day, when they unwrap everything, things might get a little crazy and you guys might not see exactly what everybody is getting. So I thought I would share it with you first. And I also have to make sure that my kids don't watch this video when I put this up because I don't want everybody to see. Some of them helped me pick all their gifts just because I needed to know they're getting older and it's easier if they can just share ideas with me. I don't have some stuff in this because I have to get it last minute. But we're still waiting for it to come in the mail. So as for like my big kids, I still need to get Blaine some stuff, Victoria, um, the grandkids and then the other kids, I have to get some odds and end things too. And I will share that with you as I go. But, um, I just want to share with you what I have right now. And then you guys can enjoy it now and still enjoy it later when I show it on Christmas day. I just don't want you guys to get lost in the chaos of the day and you guys don't really see what they get. So I'm going to share with you what each kid is getting. I'll share with you approximately what we spend on everybody and then tell you who's is what and why we pick certain things. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna try to um, sit here. So I have everything right here laid out. So I have everything out here. I ended up getting my daughter, my older daughter to babysit because I was like, there's no way I can do this with any of my kids being in the house. It would have been craziness. So I got her to babysit so I can do this. Um, so I'm gonna try to get it done really quick because I still have to go get the kids from her and uh, do that. So I'm gonna share with you, I'll probably start with like Evelyn and then work my way up and then you'll be able to um, kind of follow along that way. And then I will share with you what I got the grand girls grandchildren but they are uh, my daughter has three little girls so I will share with you what they wanted this year because I actually ran into them one day in Walmart and my one of my granddaughters wanted a pair of shoes and she was really excited about them and uh, it just wasn't in timing for them to get it at that time so I was like you know what why don't we get this for Christmas so that's kind of what, why we got some uh, shoes and stuff for them so that's kind of exciting because that's what they wanted Wanted. So kind of happy about that, but let's get started and I'm going to like I said start with Evelyn I'm gonna put you guys down so you guys can follow along and then I'll do my best at explaining everything Okay, so I'm just gonna sit with you like this. Don't mind all of this in the background I kind of had to just quick throw everything over because otherwise I wouldn't be able to um, do this right now, so I'm gonna start with Evelyn, like I said, and I'm gonna share with you the stuff that she got. I still need to get a couple things for her because um, I try to keep everything at a certain dollar amount. So we kind of go with like $100 per child. And then the thing that's hard is that when they get older, it kind of is limited to what I can get them because usually it's like one or two things. So with the older kids that are in the house, we were able to do some fun things with them because um, they are being, they, with them being older, we were able to um, find some good uh, things that they wanted. So um, I, as I'm looking at a lot of this stuff, I still see that I need quite a bit of things. And I was, I'm happy that I did this because now I have like a complete visual of what I'm kind of like missing. Um, as for like the grandkids, I still need to order things. And then um, there's two kids that I still need to order some stuff for and hopefully I can get it in time. I do have Amazon Prime, so I'm hoping that I can do that quick. Um, but as for like Evelyn, I noticed that I have, the, I kind of have her stuff like right here but i noticed with hers that i need i thought i got her more than what i did but this is why i'm glad that i did this because then i can uh see what i can get her last minute so one of the things that i wanted to get evelyn is uh like a makeup mirror 
and then fun makeup products for her that are safe for her to use. Um, maybe like lip gloss and brushes and uh, things like that. Uh, she was over at her sister's house recently at my daughter's house and she kind of played around with what she had there and she loved it. So I was thinking I could get maybe like some kind of um, makeup kit or something for her. I don't want to get a regular kids one because I heard the stuff inside of that is kind of not really good for little kids. So I want to kind of get something safe for her. So that's one thing that I'm going to look into. But she is into Paw Patrol right now. So I was able to kind of go on this one site that we have nearby and somebody had some Paw Patrol stuff. So I got some of that for her and she has the Sky one already, um, but we have these extra ones. So this will add to what she already has in her collection. So she, she's gonna love these. And then I got a complete set of Paw Patrol guys, Kitty C Catastrophe. So it has like the like the bigger guys and then a little one of them. So she'll have fun. Oh, my light. So she'll have fun with them. And then I got her little sets. So this comes with like little noise making things and just like a little airplane. And this one is Everest. Let me see if that's who I have down here. Oh, I think this, well, I'm not sure because I'm not really sure. But, um, so we got Everest right here. And then I also have uh, Tracker. So it's funny because now that I have another little girl and I'm buying like kind of boy toys for her, it's kind of funny. But she, with a house full of boys, this is just gonna be impossible for me to like completely throw all girl stuff at her because she has her own interest right now at two years old. So, um, but I wanted to get her as much Paw Patrol stuff as possible because she's gonna have fun playing with this. I got her a Build-A-Garden and this is found on Amazon and what it is, there's a bunch of little plastic pieces in here and she can build her own garden. So she can, um, they have like petals and stems and then all sorts of things in there. So she can do that. Um, if you can kind of see like right here, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. Now I do need to order another one of these because when I was talking to my daughter, she said that she already had this in her Amazon cart for her daughter. So I'm gonna order it for her and that's gonna be one of my granddaughter's gifts also. Evelyn is four months older than her niece. So they are gonna wanna play with mainly everything the same. So that's why I'm gonna order another one of them. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but I know a lot of people like these. They're the water, the water books. And then you just put water in this little brush here. And on these pages, it's like taped together, but on these pages, here, I'll try to see it. Oh, here we go. On these pages, they're clear. And then when you put water on them, it kind of shows up like that. So you don't have the mess of paint. I got one of these for my granddaughter also, the one that's almost the same age as Evelyn. And I thought this was really cute. This is a watercolor palette. And then you just, um, these are just super huge and big. This is gonna be so much fun for her. My kids love painting. So I thought this would be better than them little ones that you usually get. So she'll like that. And then she's into Poppy also. So, and she's into socks. So she has Paw Patrol socks already, so I didn't want to get them, but I got her a whole pack of troll socks. So that is cute. Um, okay, so that's all I have for Evelyn right now until I get like the makeup stuff, and then I have some other stuff that I want to get her, but I have to kind of get that last minute. So I didn't have time to uh, put that in this video today. All right, so as for this, my neighbor lady that lives right in the woods here, she is trying to get rid of like a lot of stuff in her house. And she's like, how do you feel about having this, some of these things? And I was like, sure, no problem, you know? So she brought over this little um, homemade cradle for Evelyn. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna hide it really quick because she can have this for Christmas. So. Um, 
I hope she sees this video annoying. And I kind of told her that I'm probably gonna give it to her for Christmas anyways. But Evelyn's not really into playing with dolls and babies and stuff like that. But I think with having this, this is really gonna like kind of help her out with playing with dolls and babies. And she has some, she just doesn't play with them as much as I would have thought she would. So I'm really excited about this. And with me, if you guys know, I love handmade things. I'm not really into, um, I mean, I don't mind buying them gifts like this, but I really, I like used things. I don't know. I, I see like the, like the, um, like the memories in things. So I'm not sure who made this for them, but I'm excited to have it because that just makes it even more special to like keep giving it to other people. So it's super cute. So I'm hoping that she'll like uh, playing with this. So, all right. I'm gonna move on to Nash and Lachlan. So I kind of have everything scattered and I probably should have put it like in order, but I did it. So, one of the things that I'm probably gonna get Nash and Lachlan that I didn't get is that Menards had a good sale on earphones. And every time my kids get earphones, they end up breaking them. And I, I don't know how to solve that problem. But at Menards, they had really cheap, it seemed like good quality headphones. So I need to go back there actually and uh, get them some. And it's Bluetooth and they're able to hook it up to some other things. Um, but this is not theirs, but this is gonna be the same one so that I'll be getting them. Okay, so also at Menards, they had a, some like odds and end toys there. Uh, all my other kids have these, they're snakes. Um, this one is, well, this one just says like serpent, snake, puzzle or whatever. So, um, you pull them apart and then you're able to make different shapes and designs with these. So they're going to like this cause then they'll be able to have their own. And these are different colors than my, what the other kids have. Okay. So, so that's where I got Nash and Lachlan are these little things. And then I also, they are all into Nerf guns and we have so many in the house, but they feel they need more. So this one I think is Nash's or Lachlan's. I would have to go back because I have it all written down on who gets what. And then I also had to like take pictures of them with certain things so I wouldn't forget, but I'll look back. But the Nash and Lachlan got Nerf guns. Um, Here's another little one that one of them wanted. I think Lachlan wanted this one, I think. Um, but anyways, I'll get it straightened out later, but they got that. And then they also got one of these. The guns that uh, Nash and Lachlan have are like kind of younger ones. So they kind of want to have the same as like the bigger kids. So they picked out ones that they wanted to have. All right, so Lachlan got this one. And then I think that's it for Nerf guns. But one of the problem, oops, one of the problems that we had with the Nerf guns is every time my kids would play Nerf guns, kids would get hit in the eye. So I found some safety glasses, even though some of them wore safety glasses, not all of them had a pair. So when I was at Walmart, they had Nerf safety glasses and then they had colors so you could be on teams. So we have blue ones, we have red ones, and then green ones. So I have enough glasses for all the kids in the house, except for maybe Evelyn. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of them. So I'm thinking I might have to go back and get Evelyn a pair because she always tries to wanna fit in with what the kids are doing. So we got that for them. And then I also found these at Menards. These are kind of like a knockoff brand of Lego. They probably have like an infomercial or something for this. And there's something kind of happening in our house right now that we're trying to do and you guys will check it out later. I'll have a video on all of it. And it might be a longer video, but you'll be able to see what we are doing. So. These are little stick on Lego things. You can put them on anywhere. There is black, blue, orange, and purple. 
Um, I These were only $2 a piece at Menards, and I wish I would've got more, but I ended up only getting these two. So Nash and Lachlan will be able to play with these, um, or I might end up taking over some of them also because of what I'm doing. So they got that. Um, my kids are into like squishy things. So I bought a bunch of these. These were at uh, Menards also. And they just had like beads and stuff in there, like little squishy beads. Um, I also got some of these for the granddaughters. Uh, so part of these are what they're gonna be getting also. And then um, I think I got one, I got one of these for the grandchildren. And then um, I think another one for, or maybe I just got these for the grandchildren because I got three of them. So that's probably what I got these for. So I'll kind of include these in with them later. Um, what else did I get for these guys? All right. So one of them asked for Yoda. If you guys um, have been following along, I do have a video out there with my kids making Baby Yoda keychains. We also sell them on Etsy if you guys are interested. I have a link, I'll leave a link down below and you guys can check out my site on Etsy and all the other stuff that we're selling on there, but these guys have been the most popular. So my kids love Yoda. I was able to even find Yoda wrapping paper. So that's gonna be exciting for them too. But Nash or Lachlan got this little guy. Um, I also have, let's see. I think it's this one. We've been getting uh, gnomes lately. If you guys saw our taking our Christmas tree video, you saw that we picked up some gnomes and the kids really wanted to buy some, nor some more. So they, um, one of them picked out one of these. So Lachlan or Nash got one of these. You guys will see who got what at Christmas, I guess, because I'm just not gonna be able to keep it straight. I'm using my phone to videotape this and this is where all my information is. I could have been smarter and written it all down, but hopefully you guys just enjoyed anyways. So that's that. And also my daughter makes these, so she'll be making one for my daughter too. So it's gonna be super cute, I already saw it. All right. So what else here? Um, in these packages off to the side, I'll be sharing that with you too, but these are four packages over here. They're already wrapped because uh, my sister was able to get these for me. And then my sister-in-law actually wrapped them because we had to kind of transport different gifts to different people to get them to my house. So my sister doesn't live by me and we were able to kind of connect and do that. But that's some different kind of Nerf guns and stuff in there and you guys will see that later in a, in a different video. Okay, another thing that I got for Nash and Lachlan and some of the other kids is the super cool slime. I got these at Menards also. They had really good deals at Menards this year and I'm happy that I ended up going because I found all of this there. Oops, so let's see. So they're just little bottles of slime. My kids are really into stuff like that, like Play-Doh and slimes and all that. So I got three packages of these. I also gave some of these away to my granddaughters for St. Nick, so they have some of them also. Um, I think it was Nasha Lachlan got a uh, book light and we use the book lights for at nighttime when we read books, obviously. But um, they want to be able to sit in their bed and look at things too. The bigger kids have one. So Nash or Lachlan, I don't remember which one, he wanted one. So we got that for him. So this one is for Nash. He wanted a Batman flashlight. So I got that for him. And then what else did I get? Um, Lachlan asked for a blanket. So I got him a soft blanket. And some of the other kids got blankets also, so I'll go over that later, but he wanted a soft blanket. Okay, so I went on my phone really quick because I had to see what I was missing. Um, I am missing a pillow for one of the twins, and then I'm also missing to get one for Declan and one for Nash, I think it was. We're gonna move on to Declan now, and I will share what he got. Actually, I think of all the kids, didn't really want like Nerf guns this year. He wanted other things. So 
some of the things that uh, Declan wanted, which I'm surprised that twins wouldn't have been interested in a lot of this stuff because it was stuff that you can actually do and play with. He wanted this Dots pencil holder. It's a pineapple and watermelon. These are new little toys. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before, but these are new and they have a lot of like girl bracelets and stuff. I also, I'm going to be picking some of these up for the grand girls, uh, probably the two older ones because they'd be able to make bracelets and stuff out of these. So these are really fun. I think Declan's going to like this. He's the one that actually picked this out because he saw it on something and wanted this one. Declan seems to be like the most funnest this year with some of the stuff that he picked out just because um, it was just a little bit more interesting. Okay, so another thing that Declan got is a pair of headphones. He wanted a pair, we got him a pair at Christmas, they broke, like I said, and uh, we were able to get another pair. So he is gonna have the headphones. I found him this uh, Lego set at on um, um, at Kohl's. It's an Avengers. It is what's this guy's name? This is Thanos, and uh, so it's just a little Lego kit. That's, this one he did not pick out. I saw it for him, so he's gonna like that. Another thing that he he was talking about, he was wondering how people were able to get little ships in bottles. And when we were looking up Lego sets and stuff, we were able to find this one and ask if he wanted it. So he's, he's excited to do this because it's a little craft kit and you're able to build this on Amazon or you can get this on Amazon. Um, if I remember, I'll try to leave a link down below on where I got everything if I can keep track of what it all was. But uh, I'll try to do my best. So he's gonna have fun with this one. And then he also picked out this little guy. Um, let's see. So this is the Frozen Walk and Glow Fire Spirit. So he wanted that. And this is what I was talking about with the pillow. So I already have a baby Yoda pillow, but I don't remember if this is Declan's that asked for this one or if it was the twin that asked for this one. So I'm gonna have to ask some guys um, on my phone which one is what. So, but somebody is gonna be getting another one because I did see at Walmart there's different style ones. So I'll probably go to Walmart and pick out one um, for the other one that wanted another Yoda pillow. And then, what else did I get him? Um, let's see. Oh, oh, he also wanted the Mandalorian Yoda uh, blanket. This one we got on Amazon and he's gonna be excited for this. The funny thing is with some of this is, is it always like us or, I don't know if you guys run into this, but why is it always like the parents' bed the most comfortable? So my kids are always like wanting to steal my blankets or sleep in our bed or whatever because our bed is more comfortable. Um, but a lot of the kids wanted blankets this year. So hopefully that'll make up for them trying to steal all my soft blankets. But Declan asked for this. Okay, so on to like the best one. For his birthday, we got him a camera because he likes taking pictures and videos and stuff, but his camera didn't do a playback where you could hear the sound. We had to put it on the computer first and then do it that way. And that makes it a pain for me because I don't have time always to kind of upload it and then him to look at it. So this one is a kid's action camera. It's kind of like a vlogging camera. And then he's able to hopefully have playback sound. I, I really looked into it and I, I kind of went into like the comments and the questions and all that. And it does say there's some sound on it for the playback, but I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to show you a video on this another time because I don't have it open. But this is, I'll leave a link down below for you guys because this one is pretty cool for a child. So they're able to hook it up to their helmet, their bike, or wherever, they can even go in the water with this. It's waterproof if you put on a certain attachment on here. 
and it'll be fun because I think if he can get a hang of this, maybe he'll be able to have his own channel someday. So we'll see. I'm really excited for him to have this one. But I think that's all I got for Declan. I feel like Declan got the most of everything just because he was really good this year at picking out things. The other kids were kind of like stuck on what they really wanted. And with Nash and Lachlan, they're not really into toys. So for them, they didn't really have a lot of interest in that. Um, but we're gonna move on to Miles now. So with Miles, he only wanted Nerf guns. And some of the guns weren't gonna be here on time. Some of the guns weren't available. We had a really hard time doing this. And this wasn't even last minute. This was just like, with all the sales and stuff at Black Friday and what was going on with that, uh, we missed out on some of that. So one of the guns that he really wanted was this one. Now, a lot of them aren't in regular packaging just because I ripped it open from Amazon. Uh, this is the one that he wanted and it wasn't supposed to, whoops. Oh my goodness. This one wasn't supposed to get here until January, so I ended up getting it early, which I'm thankful because he didn't think that, or we didn't think that he would get it by Christmas. Um, this is another one that he wanted. This one was available. I was gonna get some on Amazon, but the price difference between Amazon and Walmart were completely different, and I was able to find it cheaper on Walmart. All right, so another one that he got was the Ultra, this one. And then he also has two more that he picked out at Walmart that I need to go back and get. I ended up taking pictures while we were there so that I would know which one he wanted. So I do have to go back and uh, pick up them. But that's pretty much what Miles wanted. So he will be getting, I think, five Nerf guns and that was pretty much the cost of all his Christmas gifts. So um, like I said, the bigger that they get, it seems like the less things that they get because of the price difference. But he is one of them that are gonna be getting these headphones um, because he needs a pair. He's been using Gage's old pair and I'm hoping that these are gonna be a good set for uh, Hudson and Miles, but like I said, I still want to get a pair for Nash and Laughlin. Um, and okay, so I think that's it for Miles. Now we're gonna move on to Hudson. So Hudson wanted um, a gnome. Also, he also got one from when we. I, th I think he did, unless maybe he was the only one that didn't get one. But he picked out this one um, off of Amazon, so he'll be getting this. And then he wanted this hedgehog. We were at the pharmacy one day, he saw it there and he really wanted this, so I put that on his list to get. I got him a sloth toothbrush holder because he likes sloths. And with his blanket that he picked out from Walmart, it has a bunch of sloths on it. So he also is the one that wanted a soft blanket for his bed. Got some stuff going on in the house, so we're trying to update some stuff, but the kids wanted to get some new bedding and different things. And uh, he picked out this bed sheet because he, the ones that we have on his bed are like Minecraft and character ones and he wanted to get ones that are going to be matching his bedroom. So we ended up finding these and we got this to go with it so that it matches. And then he asked for a pillow. So we got him a pillow from Kohl's. They, they actually, him and Gage wanted this square. It's like this big, huge square pillow, but it was a hundred and some dollars and I wasn't about to do that. So I found these for $15 on sale at Kohl's. So I'm hoping that these are gonna be good and if they are, I might end up getting one also. This is a side sleeper. Um, Painful pressure point relief, ventilated, gel memory, and removable cover, uh, easy to care. So I got him one of them. And then I also got him the headphones because uh, he needed a pair also. A lot of the kids here have headphones, but they're kind of like falling apart and stuff. So I found these 
like I said, at Menards for $10. So that was pretty good. Um, but I think that's all he got also with his gifts. Okay, so this is also what Hudson picked out and this is gonna tie in with the blanket that he picked out. I'm just gonna show you this quick. So I have four of these packages and in each package are two guns. I think they come with like these really weird balls uh, that they're able to shoot out and I have enough for each one of the children. So I have eight guns for them. All right, so now we're gonna move on to Eli. All right, so we ran into a little problem with Eli's. Um, when Eli was putting a lot of this stuff in the Amazon cart, he was doing it on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. And when he wanted this, it's a, um, how do I say, interactive track system starter set over a hundred components over a hundred components. It's like a marble track. And he's able to put it together. At the time it was $40. And when I went to order this, I kind of just put the order through, didn't really pay attention. And when I went back in, I noticed that it was $60. And uh, he wasn't able to really get a lot of stuff with that. So we were a little kind of set back with that. Um, but we figured it all out and he's really going to enjoy this. He is one of my kids that likes to like use his hands and play with things. If you guys saw my St. Nick video, you saw that he got a lot of like fidget things or, um, like Rubik's cubes things. So he's into this more into this stuff than any of my other kids. He also is going to be getting one of them guns over there. And then for the bedroom, he wanted new sheets, so he likes the color teal, so we got him a, a new bed set for that. And then he also wanted two soft blankets. One of the things that he wanted was a full-size cat pillow, and it was like, I think like 50 some dollars on Amazon, so I decided to do the blanket thing first and then see if I can find him a different uh, body pillow. I did get him another soft blanket because he wanted two soft blankets. So I got both of these at Kohl's. So him like that. And then this is the body pillow that I got at Walmart. And this is the color he wanted to go with for his room. Ended up getting some extra Olight, some extra Olight flashlights. And this one came with another one, I think that we ordered or we got ended up getting this one. Um, they always have like deals and stuff. So this is gonna be Eli's. I don't even know if he has his own Olight. If you guys want, I'll leave a link down below and you guys can check out the Olight website. Okay, and then what else? Um, I got him this other Rubik's Cube. Corner cutting design for speed solving. So I'm not sure what this one is different or how this one is different than the ones that he already has. Also got this little cat thing from Amazon. So this is what he picked out on there. So that's what Eli got for Christmas. So now we're gonna move on to Gage. Um, two shirts from Kohl's. I am waiting for another one to come in that I have to go pick up because it just wasn't available at the time. So he has these two shirts. He also wants to get a couple more shirts, so I have to look into that. And then um, we got him uh, Olight also, and this one is, uh, let's see, I can maybe show you. All right, so this is what it looks like. And I will leave a link down below, like I said, and you guys can check out their, their site. Okay, so with Gage also, he wanted new bed sheets. He's using one of our bigger mattresses now, so he, want, he needed uh, more sheets for his, and he wanted to go with black. And then I also got him a pillow because he also wanted a pillow. He wanted the same one like Hudson with the larger one, but we weren't able to get that one. So we were able to get this one at Bulls also. 
And then I'm trying to think of what else. I thought there was something else with Gage. Okay, so what we also got Gage for his bed is a weighted blanket. I forgot to bring this out and show you guys. Hudson also wants one of these, so I was able to find this at Kohl's for like $34, so I have to go back and I have to see if they have another one for him. He probably would've got a different color, but this is the only one that they had for his weight limit of what you need to pick for a weighted blanket. These I found at Walmart for him, and he doesn't know about these, but they're egg and pancake cutters. So you just pour in the mixture and then they, he can do this because he's the one that likes to cook and I thought this would be fun for them because they've been really into the Mandalorian movie lately. So that'll be fun. And then he also got one of the guns that are in the package also. Okay, so that's all I got for the kids. And then, um, at, like I said, for Victoria and Nick, we're doing gift cards. And there's some things at Walmart that I think I was going to be getting at uh, Victoria. And then Blaine has his own place and he was asking for like kitchen pans and towels and stuff for the kitchen. So I still have to go and pick out all of that, but that's what he's going to be getting. And then for his girlfriend, I'm going to be getting a bunch of stuff for her. She gave me like a list of stuff that she would like. So I still have to go and pick up all of that. But you guys will probably see that Christmas day. And then as for the grandchildren, I show you, I'll show you what they got. And then I still have to pick out some more stuff. I saw at Walmart, um, the girls are into like, or I should say one of them is into like science stuff, science kit stuff, and all like, you know, like, I can't even think, like the beakers and all that stuff. So I'm gonna look at Walmart and pick her out some stuff. And then as for the other ones, like that flower thing, I still have to order. And then they also are going to be getting a ring set for girls off of Amazon. I gotta order that yet. But for one of them, I got this color magic uh, marker for the youngest one. So she'll have that and then I got her also the water pen and I got her the water color paints also. And then for the older two, I have these restickable stickers and they can have fun with that. And then it's just like a dress up thing. Um, the oldest one is going to be getting a Scooby-Doo pillowcase because she likes Scooby-Doo. I still have to see if I can find some for the other girls. Oh, and I also got them the squeeze balls. I got, oh, let's see. The Dig Team Unearth. How lucky can uh, what is it? Break into five relics. And then it has like what is going to be inside. So they'll have fun with that. Okay, so this is going to be for the middle grandchild. She picked these out, like I said, at Walmart when we were there. And then this is gonna be for the younger one. And these are going to be for the older one. So that's what we got for them. And I, like I said, I still have to go back and get some stuff for them. But I think that's pretty much it for right now with everything that we got. And then I still have to get like my mom and uh, Lauren's mom and like odds and ends. I was able to get some other ones out that I needed to do. Um, but that pretty much covers all of that. So if you guys have any questions on other things that we do with Christmas, leave them in the comments down below. And I will list as much as I can remember down below and you guys can go into some of that and I'll try to leave links and um, things on where I got everything. But I will try to do my best on that because there's a lot here and I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember everything. So give me a big thumbs up if you guys like today's video. That lets me know if you guys are enjoying a lot of these videos like little Christmas hauls, grocery hauls, and all the little hauls that I do. That lets me know that you guys are liking them and I will continue to make them for you guys. So don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. I think that Nash and Lachlan and I think Declan asked for were books from Kohl's. 
Um, I got the Pete the Cat's 12 Groovy Days of Christmas. I got Merry Christmas, Curious George, Llama Llama Holiday Drama, Llama Llama Red Pajama, and then Pete the Cat and the New Guy. I will be probably tying these in with on the shelf through the rest of the month. I'm probably not gonna give these as gifts uh, for Christmas, but with maybe something Elf is doing that day, and then we can read this with that. Mm -hmm.